That is a knitting doll, for any of you who don't know. When I was eight, I got one of those for Christmas, in my stocking. At first, I didn't really know what it was, but when my mum showed me how it worked, I was mesmerised by the way it grew, seemingly by magic. Once I'd started, I ignored everyone else for the rest of the day. However, I soon discovered that although the knitting dot is perfect for making long strands of knitting, that's the only thing it can make. So, when two years later, I got a knit your own scarf kit in my stocking, I was ecstatic. <laughs> Once I'd started, I couldn't stop. I was addicted to knitting. Now, four years later, I've expanded my skills to include crochet, quilting, and beading. I've even joined the local craft group called Plain and Pearl, affectionately known at home as Stitch and Bitch. <laughs> Many people won't even think to attempt knitting. They might see it as boring and repetitive. And although it can be, once you progress to more complicated stitches and different patterns, it soon becomes more interesting. Also, aren't many things in life incredibly boring? Take video games, for example. How many times do you press each button and repeat the levels to complete the game? The benefit with knitting is that not only do you get the sense of achievement that comes with completing a project, but you also get an amazing, cool, or just completely crazy creation for you or a friend. There are even connections between knitting and maths. The Nobel Prize winning physicist, Richard Feynman, reported in a pre-feminist world that, at a cafeteria in Cornell University, I listened to a conversation between two girls. And one was explaining that if you want to make a straight line, you see, you go over a certain number of stitches to the right for every row you go up. That is, if you go over the same number of stitches for each row you go up, you create a straight line a deep principle of analytic geometry. It went on. I was rather amazed. I didn't realize the female mind was capable of understanding analytic geometry. <laughs> she went on and said, suppose you have another line coming from the other side and you want to figure out where they intersect. Suppose on one line you go over two to the right for every one you go up and the other line goes over three to the right for every one you go up and they start 20 steps apart, etc. I was flabbergasted. She figured out where the intersection was. It turned out that one girl was explaining to the other how to knit Argyle socks. <laughs> this is the equation that they, she was talking about and the graph it creates. I thought I might show you how this works. Don't worry, I don't knit this quickly. It's been speeded up. Overall, this took me about half an hour, but I did unpick it twice because I went wrong. <laughs> and I'm tangling the wool. I've never knitted with two colours on the same row before, so after untangling lots of knots, I finished. <laughs> okay, and that's the knitted piece that I made against the graph. I didn't quite get it right, but I'd never tried anything like this before. In fact, during the Second World War, when the men had gone off to fight, the code breakers at Bletchley Park realised that they needed an army of women with a lifelong experience of maths. So they were somewhat lucky that everyone could knit. The ability to understand how patterns are formed from repetitive steps is still in daily use. Every time a laser printer creates a page, it's doing similar mathematical calculations to knitting. And the latest 3D printing? It's nothing more than mechanised knitting without the knots. <laughs> At the moment, I knit everywhere. On the bus, watching TV, and even between lessons. 
But my message is not that everyone has to knit. However, if we let it, this ancient craft will die out. <coughs> Once it's gone, it won't come back. I feel like knitting should be preserved anyway, for its own sake. Like an ancient building is listed. And I also fear that if we allow it to die, we will lose not only the pastime and the products, but the tradition of embedding maths into a population, which we might have not even known we had. Wherever I go, my knitting, crochet or quilting is always sure to follow. You can always find me at the end of a ball of wool. <laughs> Thank you.